Hello everyone. I am Robin with Robin's Re3. Welcome. Say hello when you're popping on and let me know where you're watching from. Say Just hello want... when you're popping Oops, on. Sorry. And let me know where you're watching. There we go. All right, one more. And then we're ready to get started. If we can find it. We've got one. So let's cross our fingers. <gasps> no. It can't happen twice in one month. Hello, Nancy. Well, I'll be darn. We've got comments in both places. Well, miracles never cease. All right. Let me see if probably could, but I'm not quite sure. And I don't want to mess with it. <laughs> I was going to say, let me see if I can. Hey, Jeannie, let me see if I can make it bigger, but don't know that I want to mess with it. It's working, so don't touch it, right? All right, we're going to be working with our newest um, truck. Newest truck. It now comes with a front. You always see the back of the truck. We now have the front of the truck. And we're going to be working on the Honey um, tailgate because... Hi, Judith. That's what we're doing next. And it's B week. I'm excited. All right. So this was the Easter one we did. So we're just going to pull that out of there. Oops. Well, I just broke it. I will fix it. So that is our old truck back. So let's go ahead and turn it around. Because, da 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 da, we actually have, hey Nanny Dot, we actually have a, a front for the truck. Now, it comes in two. You either get Chevy or you get Ford. Oh, B Week is going to be fun. I, I shared with someone today a little bit about what, what I designed for Wednesday, and I think I'm going to blow your socks off. I'm so excited to show you this one because there's a special artist that I get a few of my gnome designs from, and she actually did a red-headed bumblebee gnome for me. Oh, I'm so excited. So we have that. Um, I'll show you the other part later. So what we're going to do tonight, I'm sorry I had my grandson today, so not a lot got done, but I was able to prep really quick on some of the pieces. So what you will need to do is you will need to turn your truck around. You will need to put this on top. And you will need to draw um, a line with a pencil so you know where to paint the back white because that is going to be the window for the front of the truck. Okay, so I already did that. So let's move this. The truck front does not come with this because the truck back comes with this. So let's move that out of the way. So what I have done is I want to really make this look like chrome. So we're going to do some foiling, of course. So whoop. you are not going to want to miss the um, Wednesdays live with the new honeybee tear tray. Jeannie, I had George's son today, Gordon. 
He's turning into a cute little guy. All right, so I've already prepped it with the foil adhesive. So now I'm just going to run the foil along there and do our thing. So I wanted to give this some chrome look to our truck. I went with Chevy, but like I said, there's two. There's two options, Chevy or Ford. So when you're ordering, make sure that you get the one you want. Ford just says Ford. We didn't have a special emblem for on there. But there is my chrome bumper. So we have to go ahead and we have to coat it. I worked all day yesterday. My daughter-in-law is in a wedding and the dress they ordered for her is two sizes too big. So I worked six, almost six hours on the dress yesterday bringing it in two sizes. So, do you like that? Okay, Judith would like Chevy. <laughs> What's Nance want? Ford. <laughs> well, I got you both covered. You know that. All right, so I'm gonna glue this on here. Let's use our sloppy glue, because we don't mind if it gets all over with this. All right, so I'm going to turn this over, and I did not paint the other side because I don't have to. It is going to be glued on. You're not even going to see the back side of this. Let's put a little in the middle. I'm getting generous because I can't wait to get rid of that, what's left in there, so I can order a new one. Oop. Get that down there. Your bumper is going to fit into place. Your mirrors are going to fit into place. Nanny Dot says Chevy. Cool. Two Chevys. All right. Now, I also went ahead and foil. We're going to foil the bump, the front grill. So, let's just move this to the side. And I got my uh, little, whatchamacallit, resin dryer here because we're going to be working with some resin that's why nancy went ahead and sent me some glitter uh, several pieces to this grill because it looks like a vintage truck i worked on just a few signs today why my grandson was playing by himself, but check him out. There's a great looking carrot sign and a sunflower sign. Three on. She did okay at her sale. Could have went better, but hey, she got her word out. She got her name out there, so. All right, so let's go ahead and foil this. Can't wait to see this on. We are cooking here with juice. I went ahead and I painted it gray. I actually used my silver marker and it was starting to run out of paint. So I had to do some of it in gray, but in order for the foil to show up as silver, you really should have something. You should paint it or marker it. Check it out. Ooh. Can you see the shine?
All right, so we've got those covered. So let's go ahead and put those on. I'm going to use a thinner glue for the, um, the part that goes around the window because I don't want that oozing out, which I say I don't want it oozing out, but I already oozed out. Great. Using the super glue because it has a smaller tip on it, makes it easier. Yeah, it's already sticking to me. Wow, that went right down in place. Well, I talked to her this morning, so they must have been. All right. Then this is going to go right about here. And then this is going to go right about there. So there's no lines. So you can really put it where you want to put it, but I'm going to glue it in place first and then I'll do the final coat on it. Come on, don't be shy. There we go. You can use your headlights here as a reference of where you want this to go. So I think I can use this. Hey, Joyce. How are ya? Rachel on. There she is. Setup was gorgeous, Rachel. And I know I didn't get back to you, but I have my grandson all day today. I will get back to you on what we were working, what you want me to work on. So let me just get back in the groove. I spent like six hours on that dress yesterday. So nothing was getting done yesterday. I thought I was going to be able to start this yesterday. And get this ready for today, but that didn't happen either. I'm going to let that set a second, and then I think I can paint it. Jeannie said Chevy also. <laughs> you always have to put the final coat on to seal the foil. Oh, I love the look of this really looks old and cool and I'll probably at some point go back in like I did on the front and put my resin in the window there to make it really look shiny but what do you think it kind of cute huh so we now have a back and we have a front doesn't it this foil is amazing I have the link so if you're ordering Use the link in my, um, the affiliate link that's in the description, please. But yeah, there we go. I thought I got to make something, maybe a little mirror or something in there to hang something from. <laughs> I thought that would be cute. So, and see, there's no notch on the bottom of this. There's a notch on the back. So... Now, if you see either side, 
If you have this as a centerpiece on a table, you'll see the front and you'll see the back. Cool, huh? Hey, Monica. We now have a back for our truck and it's honeybee week. So we are working on bees. Everything bee. All right, now the wings for the bee. I already went and did it up and you'll see why shortly. Um, I have like this iridescent. I thought this would look really cute for the wings. So, trying to use up leftover areas. I should have painted it, and I didn't. But, still gives a shiny iridescent look to the wing. Why is it doing that? For some reason, every now and then it takes one of the comments and I have to push show or hide. There. There we go. I love this, don't you? It really is pretty. Now, let's see if I can get this on there. I can. Cool. I almost panicked. I couldn't find my brush today because I always put it back in the box so I know where it's at. Oh, we gotta coat those. So we might as well just do that right now. And then we are done with foiling, but we will be using the resin. And I found a little tip today. When I was painting the honey, the dripping honey, I got a little paint on the inside here and I didn't have anything to wipe it with. So I actually took my narrow paintbrush and I wet it and I just went around like this. And all it did was dilute the, the um, paint so it's easy it won't, it won't show as bad as it would if I didn't do anything to it. All right, now you know when we have these, we actually have a back piece that fits in the tailgate. So everything's gonna get glued to here. So the bee is gonna get glued to here, her and her wings. Although she's probably a worker bee, so she's probably a male. But we'll leave that there. The word honey, you actually have two pieces of honey. You have a smaller piece that's going to fit on the tailgate. And then you have a longer piece that's going to be dripping off the back of the tailgate. So, because those are items that you're not always going to have, I thought the best way to do it you have the double-sided dotted dot tape it's called I think this is from Dollar Tree and then you have craft dots so these are for more permanent projects this I think will be the the better choice so and you know that when you get your um your new tailgate you're going to get the soft velcro to go with it. What did I do? Drop it. Right there. All right. And all you do with the soft is you attach it to the hard like this. And then what you do is you position your tailgate over top of it where you want it to go and push down. And then what it does is it sticks the soft 
to the back of the tailgate and that's all you need to do to line it up. Very easy that way. All right, now let's go ahead and just move this to the side. Get rid of that. If ever I forget your Velcro, tell me. I will get it right to you because sometimes that happens. All right. We're just going to move all these over here because these are going to get glittered and resined and put in that. All right. So we can go ahead. I think I'm going to glitter the stripes too. Let's go bigger or go bold or go home, right? Thank you. All right. So we have the honeycomb or the beehive and the honey dippers. And then this is going to go on the back of that once we put that in place. Now this you can go ahead and glue right on here because it's going to stay with the honey set. But for this, I would definitely use the double-sided tape to put across the bottom. So what I did for these, for this, I used the light mocha. And then, where is it? Should be right here. Yes. I used the light mocha, but then I'm going to dirty it up a little with these crowns. These are oil pastels. Because I like to kind of mess around with it. Give it a little color. And then what you do is you just take this and you rub it in. Like I said, it just kind of dirties it up a little. Well, this one doesn't give you a color. I don't, I think I got these at Michael's. Doesn't tell you what color. It's kind of like a mustard color. But I thought that would kind of give it some depth. And just kind of, like I said, mud it up a little. And you don't have to get real accurate with this. Because you smear it in and it's going to stick. And it's kind of like wax. Okay, so I'm going to kind of go up the sides with it like that. And then just rub it in. Does anybody want me to zoom it in? Thank you. Thank you. Judith, thank you. Did you get your craft room done, Judith? Oh, come on. There we go. That's what I wanted. There we go. I wondered how you were making out. There we go. And then, like I said, that's going to get glued across the top. And then the word honey is going to go on there. So we're going to kind of do that for the same. So again, we're using light mocha. Now, when I'm doing my pieces, I go out like this. It just, in going outward and not trying to come inward, you get less on the outside. Look at that. It just proved me wrong. Well, that's the way it goes for the most part. And then I'm just kind of gliding along. Now you can use your paint markers, you can use um, paint, foil, you can do whatever you want with this set. I'm just showing you a few demonstrations and then showing you how to put it together. These sets were made for you to use your creativity. So again, I'm going to the outside, but I will check a little bit there. 
like I said, you can use a watered a watered down paintbrush to get the excess paint off the side if you didn't have diaper wipes or wet paper towel handy or a Q-tip. And before I leave, I have one surprise to show you. <laughs> That's awesome. Judith is redoing her craft room. Hubby is putting shelves in the closet. See, if I came back in here, all that paint would end up on the outside, and we don't want that. All right, so we've got that. Um, these now, you know what I'm going to do with these because I really want the stuff to show on the top. We're going to go ahead and antique wax these now. I think that is going to look really sharp when we put the resin on there. The honey, sparkly, glittery resin. And that's just a matter of rubbing it with paper towel till you get the color that you want. Not dark enough, put more on. Why I have this out. I always do the back of these. That way it just looks neater. This is the sample wood and I hate this wood. I only want the good wood for you guys. If you got too much on and you can't wipe it off, you just take a little diaper wipe or a little paper towel with water squeezed out of it and you can lighten it that way. Sample wood is a lot harder to work with than the good wood. Just ask Nancy or Judith, they'll tell you. You need to watch Wednesday, Monica. I'm telling you. You will not be sorry. Now, as soon as this dries, I'm going to actually take this and kind of um, dirty it up or I'll even use maybe this one but we're good all right so I can actually go ahead and glue well, I can't glue her on there but I can glue the honey dippers I wish I could get the, the CA thick in that little applicator because that would be great. But so see, oh, you know what? I'm gonna take that off. Because we're gonna just do in here a little bit. Because there is a little bit of space between the two that's going to show. So I'd like to get it now. 
So you could, if you wanted, go ahead and stain this piece. There. May need a little CA thick now that I messed with that. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to share. I've got a little too much on this one. There we go. It's just a way to get some of the excess off. There. Okay, so that's in place. We can go ahead and get our little beehive in place. Ew, why did I do that? We don't want that in there, do we? No glue there. I think I'm going to paint that black to really make that pop. There you go. That's a good idea, Rachel. All right, so let's paint the inside of that. And then we'll rub some of this around it. Now for my truck, I use the Caribbean. That's the color I use for that. Yeah, let's just clean that up a little. And I'm going to hold off on this just a little bit until I see if I like the glitter. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue one of the wings on. Let's make sure she still fits. What? See that? Made sure I had the right wing. Because if you don't, you might not be able to get it off. So let's just check and make sure. Yep, she's good. Blew in my finger again. All right. So now we're going to work on this. And now we're going to get messy. All right. I got this. Now I've never done it like this before. So. We are going to pour some resin in here because then we're going to dump some glitter in there. Now the one I chose that Nancy sent me was the sun kiss. That to me really looked like honey. So, and then we're going to mix it. Oh my gosh. Can you see that? Woohoo! 
Now we're going to start with some small pieces because I don't know how this is going to go. So we're going to get our little pan ready and we've got our little oven ready. So here we go. I'm thinking that's pretty darn good. So I'm just going to use this to kind of spread it around a little. O-M-G. Oh, this is going to be so cute. Can you see what I'm doing okay? I'm just starting with small amounts because, like I said, I have no idea how to do this. I've watched a lot of people, so I'm trying to do it in a manageable I, don't, I didn't want to put too much in there because I don't want a whole lot. Oh my gosh. So let me do another one. And then we'll put one in there. I'm already getting it all over. I need to get me some Teflon mats. Or silicone. Silicone. That was suggested. Um, gloves. And this really works pretty good. I love this glitter nance. You know what? I should put it on top of there first. Okay. Let's do another one. Because we got room and we got a lot here. So basically, I'm just kind of pushing it around. Oh, wow. This is fun. I know Nancy and will be doing it. I'm sure Judith will be. I should put it on there first. Makes it easier just to put it in. Oh, this was definitely the right color. Oh my gosh. It's not getting hard in the cup. Because see, it's not coming in contact with the um, UV light. So, I'm using the little Solo Cups that I got from Dollar General. And I'm not trying to ignore you. I'm just trying to get this coated so I can get it in there. <laughs> oh my gosh, I am in love with this. Well, I guess my hubby will be making me a glitter rack. Because I think I'm going to be ordering more glitter from Glitter Chimp. If that's where you got this one, Nancy. Now it gets to the bottom. Really need one of those little silicone spatulas, but I'm sure a popsicle stick, or in this case, a Dollar Tree skewer, is going to work just fine. And I love how this like doesn't go over the edge. This is really good resin. Now I will make sure that in the description I have the um, link to the resin because the one that I used to link in the beginning you can't get it anymore at Michael's. All right. Yikes. Don't want that to happen. All right. So we're going to put it in our oven. We are going to hit it for 90. I don't know if you can, see, you all can see it. See it in there? Mm. 
All right. So, definitely going to need to make more because that was not enough to do those and this. So, I actually filled it up like halfway between this groove and that groove. And then I added the, the um, glitter in there and mixed it up real good. Oh, did you? Okay. I wasn't sure. I love that. So when that comes out, let's do the stripes on the B. I think that would be cute. Give it a little flare there. You know me, I love my glitter. And it's a good way to get the get it all cleaned out before I make the next batch. Oh my gosh. Now I painted that black and then I outlined it in a few places with the um the white paint marker. And this is still pliable. I'm going to hit it again. This dryer works so much better than the last dryer we all used. Definitely worth the extra. I think it was like an extra $10. Look at that. Is that not cute? Ah, great minds think alike, don't we? Judah said maybe you should resin or do the B. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, what happened to a puppy? Oh, this is almost done. Now, one of those is going to sit on top of here. So once that's on there, then we're going to decorate this up a little. And one goes here and one goes here. And then I think two of the side ones kind of fit here. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Rachel. We got to get Rachel doing some resin. All right, we got 15 seconds. And I'm... I'm going to go ahead and order a mask because I really think it's it's recommended and we probably should. Okay. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Okay, this fits over top of that. These. And look, it's already dry. Now, does that go there? No, that one goes there. And this one goes... No, that one goes there. And this one goes there. Uh, let's put our B in there. We gotta get her... Get her going. There we go. Alright, let's glue these on because I want to hold it up. Really? Oh, wow, that would look so cool on the fake apples. <gasps> oh, great idea. Okay, I'm going to share some of that with this one. Put a little on here. And I think we're going to do those corners too. Why not? It just needs a little. And we got some. I 
and this is still pliable in here. I knew this was going to take some time, so that's why I was trying to do as much as I could ahead of time because we're already getting close. All right, so like I said, okay, let's get a little piece of this. Let me just stick that in there next to the B while that's working. And then peel off the excess. So for temporary stuff, I would definitely use this craft tape. It's double-sided. That's too big. I don't need all that. So there's that. What are cherries? Oh, awesome idea. And you probably pay a lot more for those. All right, let me see if I can hold this up now. Look at that glitter. <gasps> Don't you love it? Doesn't it look real? Oh my gosh. I love it. I'll do that for another Although it's probably pretty good. We'll put that closer in there. Let's go ahead and glue our B on there. Where is our glue? Oh, yeah. See what I mean? It just pours out. So we'll just spread it around. There we go. I'm loving this. So let's go ahead and put that in here. Oops. Oh, I broke her antler. Dang it. I hate the, the, this wood. That's why I don't sell it to you guys anymore. Uh, it's probably easier to put it here. There. And it's gotten worse. That's why we need the shift, and that's why our prices went up, because we want you guys to not have the issues that I'm having. All right. Now that that's on there, I'm thinking I can use this on there. Okay. That kind of highlight there. Oh, I love how these oil pastels are working. And this mustard colored one really does a nice blending job with the honey. All right. So that's good. That's not. So maybe I'll do this on top of here because the word honey is going to fit in some of the grooves here on this. Aw, thank you. Let me see. Nope, it's not, but we're going to go ahead and glue this on. 
so we'll have it it'll be easier for us to work with and that'll do that once we're done here See, this goes about here. You'll see this little cutout here. That's for the O in honey. And then there's a little notch here for the N. Then the E goes in here. And then there's a little notch, two notches actually, for, the, for that. So, I'm going to go ahead and do this, and then you will see. I'm, I'm going to do it off camera because I'm already at 8.30, and I don't want to hold you guys up. But that will go on the back there, and I'll have that glittered too. And then I'll have this dripping down off the truck bumper, and that will be glittered also. So look at that. Is that not adorable? So that's my plan. So I will go ahead and do that off camera because you already saw me do this. So you know how it's done. And then I'll take a picture of it. Now I'm going to go ahead and lift you up there. So I will finish that off camera. Because, drum roll this up before I mess it up. You all have been asking for it and it is finally here. The rocking chair for the dangle leg gnome. Isn't that cute? Now this is the pedestal for that. This is a, a small one like my granddaughter's that we made and this little key comes out of here and all these pieces come apart and lay flat. So storing this is awesome. Shipping it is awesome. And that's what you were all asking for. Well, what did I do? I flipped it out of place. Oh, geez. Oh, this is out of place. There we go. So there you go. The little rocking chair for the dangle leg noom. Now there will be a vehicle involved on Wednesday with a little girl bee. So and check it out, it even rocks. <laughs> Probably put fit a Barbie on here or two. But there you go. You asked and we designed. I know. <laughs> this is not listed yet. I will have this listed by noon tomorrow. Okay. So that's and a nice honeybee tear tray set for Wednesday with two little special items. So just letting you know. And now you have the truck back or front back. Uh, and there's the truck. Maybe I should do the headlights too. Should I do the headlights with the, yeah, I'll do the headlights. <laughs> All right. So there you go. And I, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six more new projects coming. One is a centerpiece, four or five are door hangers, so I'm excited, I've been busy, and our cow, the Halstein cow that, the, that my customer wanted me to make on the rocker, like the rabbit, we have the cow coming. <laughs> it's going to be exciting. All right, you all have a great night, thank you all for joining me. 
and I'll see you hopefully on Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Good night.